Yes, students, welcome back again. This is Vedan Gopal sir. With the third page of the lesson, Rendezvous with Ray. Page three of the lesson, we are going to take up now. In the previous class, we talked about the character of Sachin Ray in Robert's words. Now he continues where he had left. Look at the third page of the lesson. He was even shy of receiving compliments, said Robert. He was even shy. It means he would feel shy or a, a little bit of a cautiousness, but even while receiving compliments. What do you mean by compliments? Compliments means spoken or written words of praise or written expressions of praise. That means Rob Sachijit Ray was such a shy person that you would not be ready to even receive compliments. When some people want to compliment or congratulate him or speak words of praise about him, he would always shy away from them. He would always avoid them. To Robert, the greatest mark of race appreciation for him was that he often addressed the French-speaking priest in Bengali. In spite of my lack of elegance in that language, and the fact that Ray knew both English and Bengali as well, so well. So Robert feels the greatest mark of appreciation that he would receive from Sachijit Ray was that Ray often used to address the French speaking priest. Who is that French speaking priest? talked about here, that is none other than Robert himself. Robert feels that the greatest mark of Ray's appreciation for him was that Ray would address him often in Bengali. In spite of my lack of elegance in that language. Elegance means what? Skill, understanding. In spite of my lack of knowledge, I, Sachijitre knew very well that I was not good at Bengali because I am not, basically I am not a Bengali. But he used to address me in Bengali only. Knowing fully well that I was not elegant at that language. And the fact that Ray knew both English and Bengali so well, whereas Ray could speak English and Bengali so well. And what is there for him to get appreciated, feel appreciation about that? That shows Sachit Ray's love towards Bengali language, Bengali culture. Even though he knew that Robert was a foreigner, a Western person, who was not well acquainted with the language of Bengali, still he would call or address him in Bengali only. So, that Robert would feel a, as a mark of great appreciation. That shows their close friendship. It's not uh, that Sachitre wanted to insult Robert by addressing him in Bengali, knowing fully well that he was not well acquainted with the language. Ray's screenplay manuscripts were an art by themselves. Robert says, what do you mean by screenplay, mass? What's the meaning of screenplay? First, let us know the meaning of screenplay. Means when a story is convert, being converted into a movie, the director generally sh should know in what order or what sequence he should be making the sequences or the scenes. 
how he should be arranging the scenes in a proper order so that the audience do not lose interest so he, he used to write all his manuscripts in handwritten manuscripts means what written by hands not uh, printed handwritten documents he used to write all the manuscripts himself manually and uh, rea robert says that uh, those screen plays manuscripts were an art by themselves he used to write rea used to write the manuscripts in such an artistic manner robert feels that they were an art by themselves they themselves were an art not the movies not only the movies that rea made but even the screen play manuscripts that he used to create were an art by themselves in what way hand written in bengali with notes in english for his set designer along with that for whatever settings that he wanted to create for so and so scenes for his set designer he would make notes in english because that set designer might not be able to understand bengali fully well with the sketches here and there he would also draw the sketches in the manuscript that you have to create the setting like this for the set designer he used to uh, the sketches here and there and occasional staff notation of fragments of music occasional start, here and there he should he would also make a presentation of uh, notation of fragments of music what kind of music to be created or given during so and so episodes or incidents or events are scenes in the movie he would make an official uh, occasional staff notation he would underline note it see can see that how carefully that's why he became of course such a great director how carefully he prepare he would prepare his manuscripts handwritten in bengali with uh, instructions in english for his set designer sketches here and there occasional staff notation of fragments of music so we can say that robert sachitra was not only a director he was a screenplay artist he was a music composer a set designer himself because he would draw the sketches of the settings that he wanted from the set designer in his manuscript itself one sunday morning robert found ray in a disturbed mood as we discussed earlier students there was an unspoken arrangement between robert and ray that they would meet at a ray's official residence at bishop lefroy road every sunday at 9 am they would meet and sachit ray would invite robert for the screening for the private screenings of his latest films and also would invite comments that already we talked about so one sunday morning robert came as usual at 9 o'clock Uh, when he came there he went to uh, sachit ray's residence robert found ray in a disturbed mood when he looked at Ra- Ra- sachit ray he was looking disturbed somewhat worried in a disturbed mood a few well known personalities of the city had visited him earlier to go through some of his manuscripts what happened actually a few well known personalities of that city had visited him earlier just before the arrival of uh, robert there at his house a well some well known personalities of the city came to visit sachit ray earlier and go through some of his manuscripts after they left ray found the charulata screenplay missing after they left uh, uh, ray searched everywhere but he could not find one important manuscript that he had made for the film charulata that that manuscript was missing ray was almost sure who the culprit was culprit means a person who commits a crime a criminal and who is that culprit here ray almost was sure about who had stolen his manuscript the manuscript of charulata movie ray knew who that person was i asked him whether he was planning to take any action and he said no 
and uh, robert asked him ray sir are you going to take any action against the person who had stolen your manuscript ray said no why and explained to me that he did not want to hurt the reputation of the person and you know robert was so shocked at the uh, so surprised at uh, sachit ray's words ray even though he knew the person who had stolen his manuscript he did not want to take any action against him because he did not want to hurt the reputation of that person he was a well known personality in the city and if ray had complained to the police and if that person was arrested he would become a very uh, cheap person in the eyes of the public he would become a, a laughing stock among the public that means he would lose his reputation that ray did not want to happen see even though that person had stolen his hard written hand written manuscript on which he had worked for several years that was missing but still he did not want to take any action against the against the culprit that shows his humane concern and i was absolutely stunned by his humane concern said robert when robert heard this he was saying that i was absolutely stunned i was absolutely completely shocked i was speechless by his humane concern you see the word there humane is adjective it's not human there is e here humane means having really qualities of a real human being having the qualities of a real human being humane means kind generous gentle you can go on giving so many meanings according to the and the humane concern that the concern that he had shown for his fellow human being that he would lose his reputation if he had taken any action against him by complaining against him at the police station that other person would lose his reputation so that shows uh, race concern humane concern concern towards his fellow beings uh, name and fame and reputation like rabindranath tagore ray strode his time like a colossus you know rabindranath tagore students as a he was a great bengali writer poet essayist music composer incidentally he was the man who wrote the national anthems of two countries india and bangladesh rabindranath tagore was the author of the national anthems of two different countries india and bangladesh and such a great uh, with such a great person robert compares sachijit ray to see like rabindranath tagore how rabindranath tagore during his period of life how he strode his time how he walked or how he lived his time what do you mean by living his time he in his period during the life his life as a great saint composer and writer poet how he had lived such a great life of reputation how he lived his life robert says ray also strode his life time like a colossus colossus means what a larger than life image Ray strode his time like a colossus means what Ray also lived his time he was also equally popular during his time as Rabindranath Tagore was during his period of life strode his time like a colossus that means he had larger than life image generally when a statue is much bigger than the person himself that is what is called a colossus so like rabindranath tagore ray strode his time ray walked his strode means walked or lived his time like a colossus robert writes it is as if all bengal was in manigda the rich and the poor the powerful and the humble the peasants and the city persons children 
teenagers, adults and old people, men and women. So Robert writes, why he wants to compare Sachijit Ray to Rabindranath Tagore, he is giving the reason here. It is as if all Bengal was in Manikda. How all Bengalis, irrespective of their religion and caste, how they liked Rabindranath Tagore when he was alive, how Rabindranath Tagore enjoyed a larger than life image, Ray also lived a larger than life image. Because Ray was liked by the rich and the poor, the powerful and the humble, the peasants and the city persons, children, teenagers, adults and old people, men and women, irrespective of the gender, irrespective of the age, irrespective of the caste or religion or social status, total Bengal was in Manikda, as if all Bengal was in Manikda. Means what? He was a familiar person, famous person among all the people, irrespective of their age, irrespective of their caste, religion, social standing, whatever it is. That's why he wanted to compare Sachit Ray to Rabindranath Tagore. Philosophically too, Robert feels Ray took off where Tagore signed out. Philosophically means what? Culturally. When it take, comes to the culture of Bengal, Robert feels, means Gaston Robert feels, Ray took off where Tagore signed out. What do you mean by sign out? Where Tagore had stopped, Ray continued from that point. Ray took off where Tagore signed out. Look at this particular expression. You sign out generally, you see there in the mail addresses. You sign out. Means where Tagore had stopped, where Tagore had signed out, Ray took off from there. Means Ray continued to work for the development or enrichment of the Bengali culture where Robert, Rabina Tagore had stopped after his death. At his death. We, it came to an end with the death of uh, philosophically too. Robert feels Ray took off where Tagore signed out. In what way? Let us see. If one compares the last major prose piece by Tagore, Sabhyatar Sankat, Crisis of Civilization, which he wrote at the beginning of the Second World War, which contains his immortal dictum that in spite of what was happening, it would be a sin to lose faith in man, and the last three films of Ray, Ganeshatru, Shaka Prashaka and Agantuk, the analogy becomes clear. See, this is a single sentence. If one compares the last major prose piece written by Tagore, prose means what? Prose is opposite of poetry. Prose piece means prose is opposite of poetry. In every language you say prose and poetry, Pajabhag, Gajabhag, like that. A major prose piece, last major prose piece, means a piece of work written by Rabindranath Tagore. The title is Sabhyatar Sankat. The name of that prose piece or the book that Tagore wrote was Sabhyatar Sankat. It is in Bengali. Actually, an English translation is Crisis of Civilization. Means the problem being faced by civilization, present civilization. That is the meaning of Sabhyatar Sankat. That was the last prose piece written by Rabindranath Tagore, which he wrote at the beginning of the Second World War. You know, Second World War was fought between 1939 and 1945. At the beginning of Second World War, Tagore wrote this, Crisis of Civilization, which contains his immortal dictum, 
which contains his immortal dictum immortal means what deathless having no death is called immortal opposite of mortal is immortal which does not have death is called immortal this particular book contains his immortal dictum <coughs> what's the meaning of dictum a statement that is believed to be true and followed by everybody a statement that is believed to be true and followed by everyone is known as a dictum even now also we believe in this what is that immortal dictum that uh, tagore gave through his last prose piece what is that in spite of what was happening it would be a sin to lose faith in man in spite of what what was happening at that time there was a crisis of civilization and the world was fighting a war among its among its nations lakhs of thousands of thousands of lakhs of lives were lost there was a crisis of civilization sabhyata sankat but he says that in spite of what was happening it would not be correct it would be a sin it would be a crime to lose faith in man he this is a dictum that he wanted to give through his last prose piece means don't lose faith in mankind don't lose faith in mankind what a great statement that he wanted to express dictum that he, uh, he wanted to express through his uh, last prose piece and you compare that la tagore's last prose piece with the last three films made by ray what are they ganshatru shaka prashaka and agantuk these are the last three movies made by sachit ray when you compare tagore's last prose piece and the message that he wanted to he conveyed through that last prose piece and the message that uh, ray conveyed through his last three movies the analogy becomes clear analogy means what comparison a fact that is similar a feature that is similar is known as analogy or we can say a similar feature you can when you compare prose piece of such robert ravindra tagore last prose piece that is sabhyatar sankat and uh, uh, race last three movies the analogy becomes clear in these three films ray was at his most personal and when some critics saw the films as didactic and verbose he felt deeply hurt so what was uh, ray trying to do or convey through his last three films in these three films ray was at his most personal means he was because he was almost at the end of his career almost reaching his final stages of life his uh, he was at his most personal and uh, means he wanted to convey all his personal feelings or emotions through his last three movies when some critics saw the films as didactic didactic means what which is instructive which is a something that uh, that is used to convey a moral contains a moral or ethics and they started the detractors critics means detractors saw the films the last three films of ray as very didactic means conveying a lot of moral message and verbose verbose means what using more words than actually needed when you use more words than actually needed you are called verbose means talkative talking too much means using 
more words than needed that is called verbose so usually these three last movies were ray wanted to convey or give instruct instructions to the people moral instructions to the people at the same time critics saw it as verbose he felt deeply hurt when he heard this he felt very much hurt why people are commenting on me like this for means because in these last films sachidit was directly talking to us actually he was directly talking to us in the sense that robert wanted to say that he was directly conveying his emotions and feelings about the present day civilization conveying his personal message on society and civilization what is wrong there in that a movie is a very big great media of conveying your message to the people and when ray wanted to convey his message personal message on society and civilization his critics are detractors started pointing out that he was too much didactic and verbose in those last three movies he felt hurt if the impulse that motivated his earlier films was aesthetics in the last three it was self expression impulse means influence of a particular feeling impulse means influence of a particular feeling what was his impulse that motivated sachit ray earlier films that means what were the things that influenced him the most at the beginning of his film making aesthetics aesthetics means what the art of judging beauty even poverty also he created beautifully so the art of judging beauty means is all earlier movies he concentrated only on aesthetics aesthetics influenced his mind when he was making his movies at the beginning of his career but now in the last three movies it was self expression it was not aesthetics that uh, ray was trying to uh, portray through his movies in the last three that are mentioned there ganshatru shaka prashak and agantuk last three movies convey his self expression what he felt or what he was feeling rather at that moment about the society and civilization and what is wrong there in that robert jasks there is nothing wrong there the impulse or influence of a particular feeling that motivated him to make movies at the beginning of his career was different it was aesthetics now he had spent many years in his career now he wanted to convey his personal uh, emotions or feelings about the society and civilization to the people what is wrong there in that robert jasks and there we were denying him his right to speak when we when the detractors commented that the last three movies were too much of didactic and verbose robert says that the people were denying him the right to speak what is the wrong there in conveying his personal uh, uh, feelings about society and civilization as the saying goes no one is a prophet in one's own country said robert there is a saying a popular saying in english no one is a prophet in one's own country what does it mean this is a say popular saying a very popular saying
let us see its meaning now no one is a prophet in one's own country means what generally no one is admired even even of even though he or she is a very great person in every aspect until the entire world recognizes that particular country in which he or she is born is not recognized no one is considered as a prophet in one's own country that means the no the other world first considers him or first recognizes his talent then the country in which he was born it was he was recognized that is the popular saying whereas the world entire world appreciated his movies his own local people the detractors started commenting that they were too didactic and too verbose so as the popular saying goes no one is a prophet in one's own country an agnostic throughout his life it is possible robert feels that in the face of death ray was searching for an answer what do you mean by agnostic a person who does not know whether god exists it is not the meaning not the question of whether believing or not believing in god whether god exists or not a person who does not know whether god exists is known as an ag- agnostic so throughout his life sachit ray was an agnostic it is possible according to robert's idea feeling that in the face of death means when he was in the last moments of his life he was searching for an answer answer for what he was searching for an answer whether god existed if god existed why all these bad things are happening in the world robert feels welcome back again 